Dear ladies and gentlemen, sure. thank you for having me tonight. First of all, I'd like to thank the Stanley Peterson Fund and its distinguished jury for the consideration of this book. For me, a Ukrainian Jew, the relationship between the Jewish and Ukrainian people has always been a main concern. The wish to see to live in harmony and mutual understanding and plagued by propaganda and anterior agendas. This is why I've written this book to reveal the true, unexaggerated drama of the Jewish-Ukrainian relations in, 20, in the 20th century. To this day, Kremlin's systematic and malicious interference in our sovereign, independent states and has not stopped. Once it was done by Russian Empire, the same politics continued to by the communist regime, and now, for the over two decades, continues in Putin empire. By fueling our history with lies and insinuations, they make all inter-ethnics understanding impossible. The facts presented, the classified documents, the e and the evidence collected in this book are meant to prevent the destructive intentions of those wishing to ed eradicate us. I'm thankful for those who have already read the book, who have told me the words I could have only dreamed of, that the book has already become a powerful weapon in the front of this information war. The same war that Ukrainian, that Ukraine has been fighting for several centuries in determination to gain complete independence and seize genocide, culture side, and ethnocide of the Ukrainian nation. This book traces history and locates the creation of some of the notorious propagandistic narratives and cites recently declassified archival documents to refute the myths that will poison the relationship between the Ukrainian and Jewish people and are the very the same half-truth and false claims aimed at distorting history and wrecking havoc among the democratic allies of Ukraine. Proven again and again, the Jewish and Ukrainian ethnos can maintain their fight against their enemies without despondency, fear, and panic, seeking independence without losing a wicked sense of humor in the most trying situation. Not one to brag, but the very popular song about Putin hails from my hometown, Kharkiv. <laughs> I would sing it now. I have an ear for music. <laughs> but, the, <coughs> but the lyrics are very least, at, at the very least provocative. <laughs> I would like to mention that exactly 50 years ago, by the invitation of the Ukrainian diaspora in Canada, our city of Toronto was visited by Gulag prisoner, a Zionist, and by Kremlin definition, enemy of the USSR number one and my personal hero, Avram Shifrin. In his speech rallies here, he emphasized that along with the being a Jewish nationalist, he was fighting for the life and the freedom of Ukrainian nationalists, as well as all other nations enslaved by Moscow. In particular, he called to save his friend Yuri Shuhevich, who was then once again imprisoned. Today, I'd like to pay tribute to both of them to some of the most honorable men in history that are yet to be commemorated properly, Jew Avram and Ukrainian Yuri, who left his world only nine days ago. May their soul rest in peace. I'm often asked, Alec, why did you take up the topics of these extremely complex relationships? Why do you, why do you write about Simon Pitlura Arnold Margolin, Yaroslav Stitsko, Avram Shifrin. To answer, I could paraphrase James Mace. Our heroes, slandered and forgotten, have chosen me. Today, more than ever, it is vital to remember this long journey of sacrifices made in the fight for the freedom of self-identification, the right to self-determination. Otherwise, all the sacrifices in the name of independence would be in vain, and the crimes of the next tyrant would be continued. 
the proof of the importance of the coding, history came as a stark reality on February 24th, that the lessons of history were unfortunately not learned, and the true criminals of the past were not convicted. The second decade of the 21st century in Europe is marked with the terrors of war, death under bombs and rockets, hunger, thirst and disease, torture and execution. Children become orphans and cripples, are abused in unmentionable way, along with their mothers and grandmothers. Every person who supports Ukraine's fight is given a piece of his heart or her heart funding the victory over the enemy. The enemy which today threatens the existence of entire human civilization. The ashes of our Jewish and Ukrainian ancestors knock on our hearts and demand to tell the world the inconvenient truth, expose the lies, and help the light defeat the darkness. Slava Zahiblin, Vola Zhivin, Smerk Vorohan. Thank you.